West Sports Report, but now we'll send it down to Todd McKim in Corvallis. He's on campus at Oregon State. Well, we are about one third of the way through the spring quarter here at Oregon State University. Plenty going on on campus this week, including the big spring football game as Mike Riley concludes his first spring back at Oregon State University. Hi, everybody. I'm Todd McKim, and welcome to the show. Also, of course, later in the program, we'll go to the Cribs. A couple of football players will check out their house, and believe me, this is truly a sight to behold. Also, update on softball and baseball. But we want to start today's show by talking about a very unusual sport, and that is men's rowing. Oregon State has a great tradition in men's rowing. And when we come back, good housekeeping need not stop at this crib. Welcome back to the show. Now it's time to take our weekly trip to the cribs, and we do it with a couple of football players, Eric Tuma and Tim Ewis. You know, if the old saying is true that cleanliness is next to godliness, I don't think these guys are ever going to find the pearly gates. I'm Tim Ewis from Oregon State Football. We've seen a lot of cribs on Fox Sports. We want to introduce you to the Blue Mansion, so come on in. This is Eric Tuma. He's one of the roommates. He was a linebacker at Oregon State last year. Now he's the uh, current linebacker coach at Crescent Valley. Coach Tuma. How's it going, guys? Hey, we got a great house here. It's uh, somewhat of a boarding house. We've, we've had probably close to about 15 people live here the last three years or so. We have six people here currently. First thing we're going to show you here is the, the focal point of the house, and that is this inflatable moose head. With, with uh, six guys living here at one time, you have, uh, every once in a while you have a little uh, spat or a little, little disagreement. We just broke hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. The moose. When we get angry and stuff, we just take a time out and just kind of look at the moose, and it just kind of makes things, kinda, you know, calm down and everything, so. Everybody shows their fridges on cribs, so we thought we'd show you what we have to eat. We've got some milk from Dairy Mart. We've got a cake. Uh, we got Reeser, Reeser Tortillas. That's our sponsor. Uh, uh, the sour creams. I'm scared. Oh my. <laughs> That's bad. That be cool. Most of our food comes from training tables, so we don't, we don't take a lot of care of the fridge. Okay, next we got the backyard, which we put a lot of man hours, a lot of hard work in. So let's check it out. Well, uh, one time we wanted to have a pool party before fall camp, so we, we got ourselves a pool. And we put it in the basement, and then we brought it out here, and we had an, an above-ground pool party. We had tiki torches, the barbecue, and some lawn chairs, so it was fun. Okay, the backyard leads us to my room downstairs. Welcome to the Beaver Lounge slash my room. See, I'm in a, sort of a transitional phase right now. So this is, this is what I have to deal with. As you can see, it's got all the creature comforts of home. I got a nice bed right there, a chair to just hang out, my guitar, I mean, pretty much anything that I need, so. Okay, here, here in the Blue Mansion, we try, we try to keep clean, but uh, we're not really clean guys. So you, you'll see every once in a while, there'll, there'll be deposits of garbage along the floor. That, that there is from uh, New Year's. This is, uh, believe it or not, uh, a string of 100 firecrackers. And I was taking a shower one day, and Tuma opened the door up and threw them in, and thought I was going to die. They actually uh, burnt some holes in the linoleum, but don't tell our landlord. <laughs> All right, my favorite part of the house is the garage, where I build a little climbing wall. It's pretty fun. As you can see now, things are a little cluttered and everything, but this is it. This is, this right. was a dream. <laughs> I come out here every often, obviously, as you can see, not not recently, but uh, it's kind of fun to come out here, kind of play around, climb, pretend like I'm actually good at it. It's a pretty nice garage you guys got here. Yeah, we uh, we try to take care of it. This is our chair we put out in the front yard to uh, sip sodas on in the summer. This was actually out of a guy's van. Yeah, he had, he had to move into his van, so he needs need a little extra room, and he, he gave us his uh, van chair. We store a lot of stuff here for people, and then we just throw a lot of cardboard boxes out here. And it's also the uh, wood chopping area for the fireplace, so we, there's some wood back there, and then there's some wood behind you, and yeah, we, we got a lot of stuff down here. A lot of memories in here. A lot of memories. This is a pretty valuable chair. Uh, Seth Trimmer originally found it in a dumpster over at Technology Loop. And it did have a, a thing there for the feet, but it came off, so now it's just got these things and they don't even move. They kind of, that's as much as it moves. And uh, it's pretty interesting. One time we found a brassiere in the chair. 
We don't know whose it was, but it was there. <laughs> it's a brassiere, Tim. It's not. It's not a bra. A brassiere. It's brassiere. Get it right. Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I first met Tuma a few years ago, and he, they said they wanted me to live in a house with him, and I wasn't sure about this guy, but I've got to know him pretty good over the last three years. We've shared a lot of fun experiences in the, the real college environment, as you can see. We've made a lot of messes. If these walls could talk. If these walls could talk. I tell an interesting story, that's for sure. Dare Mark! Dare Mark! Dare Mark! Well, we're gonna head down the street. You guys can stay and clean up if you want, but uh, we're gonna get ourselves a soda. Tuma has completed his eligibility with the Beavers. Meanwhile, U.S. hopes to once again be the starting tight end for the Beavers next fall. And, you know, I'm kind of intrigued about this moose. I wonder if we could borrow that for our next production meeting for the show. Mm -hmm. 